So let's do a recap. The other day I created 72 new base pastes using my current formula and it worked out great. At the end of that video I created some backgrounds. Now we're going to take those backgrounds which are right here and we're going to create art out of it. It took me maybe five, ten minutes to just cover the entire background. It's dried for 24 hours. Um, I didn't have to, but I did just from timing on doing this uh, video. And it is completely dry and accepting of pencil. It normally accepts pencil very, very easily. Now you're going to see some odd colors on here because I was testing to see how the pencil took and it was great. So I will leave a link in the description to that video, how to make this. This stuff is fantastic. Now I want to address uh, this picture. This is one of the ones that I did that I completely forgot about. Yep. I forgot about it so much that I did the video and I did the picture, brought the picture outside to put a seal on it, forgot it was outside, and it's been blowing around my backyard for a month. It's one thing in a normal backyard, but remember, I live in the desert. So not only was it blowing around in just outside wind, we have wind storms here, and we've had many in this month. So this thing has been sandblasted. It was baked in our UV rich sun because that's all we have here is hot desert sun. And you can see nothing happened to it. I had no fading of colors. In fact, the only thing I did have on it is there's some dirt that it must have been wet when it blew. So I've got some dirt in embedded into it some little stones. But other than that, it was perfect. So this is a month out in the desert sun in the elements unprotected. And the color still came out fantastic. So today we're going to take these four different colored backgrounds and I'm going to create some artwork with it. Now they're going to be sunset silhouette type pictures and this is supposed to be of an inspiration of what you can do with this paste. I'm happy to say this video is sponsored by Taskbiz. Taskbiz is a pencil sharpening company. Taskbiz pencil sharpeners are electric. It has a little gear button down here and you can change how tall you want your pencil point. When you put it towards the left, a large, very pointy pencil point. When you push it to the right, you get a blunted point. I, like, I personally like the Sharp. It works on both battery and USB. The USB cord comes with it. And there you have it. It works really nice. It has an automatic stop when it gets to its final point. What's really nice about this is how compact it is, and it's perfect for a to-go bag. It's perfect for kids in school. To empty it, it's very simple. Just turn and go back, and it's locked. It's that easy. It takes two AA batteries that go into this little compartment and you can run it off those batteries or right off your charger. There is a 40% discount code on the site and if you use my code you get an additional 10% off. I will leave the link in the description. So let's get started. Where did you go? Something that I did wrong Can I unwrite 
stars so I'm using a brush dipped in some watery gouache and I'm just gonna flick it While I have my gouache out, I'm going to add some highlights to the clouds. Just something quick and let those dry. Mm -hmm. 